Welcome to my channel Creative Art. I am Nalima and today we are going to make these beautiful clay mural painting using homemade texture paste. As you know the mural will uplift the painting which creates a 3D look as we have done for the flower but the most amazing thing about this painting is the texture and the dimensions we have created using just color and the texture paste. So this gives a depth to the background of flower which uplifts the flower more and this is what gives this painting a 3D look. So friends, please to watch the complete video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video I post every week. All the materials needed to make this beautiful 3D look mural painting are mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them. They are also shown in the video. So enjoy this video now friends. Now friends, we are going to start this painting step by step. So first of all, we are going to need all of these materials to prepare our base. You are going to need two canvas boards. I am going to use 18 to 10 inch canvas boards but you definitely should use a bigger size like 10 into 12 or 12 into 14 size according to your wall preference. Next, you are going to need the mixed media paste. This is the mixed media paste which is 2 in 1 gesso and modeling paste from Little Bird. I'm going to use the grey shade. If you like you can also use the white mixed media paste. And with that we are going to need a palette knife and two colors. First is a red and second is a black. Both are from Fevicryl acrylic colors. Okay so let's start now. Now first of all I'm going to use a black color and a flat hair brush and color my complete base as black. Also color the side. Okay, so finally our base is colored now. So now, in a different palette, I'm going to take some texture paste in this way. Try to add enough amount according to your canvas. Okay, I think this is enough. Close the gap. And then, as you can see, this is gray, but we actually need it much more darker. So I'm going to add a little amount of black color in it and mix both the mediums in this way using a palette knife okay, so this is enough this is not actually a pure black as it looks so now friends what you have to do is pick enough quantity of the texture paste in this way and using the same palette knife thread it on the area then take some more Spread it on the sides. Do the same for all the four sides. And then finally on this side. So we have finally applied texture paste on all the four sides in this way. We have not mixed it yet because I'm going to use a sponge and a red color and I'm going to tap all around the canvas in this way. So just do it randomly and then finally I'm also going to do it on the textured area in this way. This is a bit complicated structure you can see here but finally at the end you will be able to see something very beautiful so keep going on till you achieve the perfect effect. Okay so we are done here the colors. Now I'm going to take some more of the texture paste in my palette again. This is some real nice quality texture paste I have to say. Mix it just a little bit with the black. Okay, I got it. And now I'm going to just slide the texture in this way inside. Take a little bit of texture paste and slide your palette knife inside in this way you'll get a random look but you'll love it at the end just take a little bit in your palette knife and slide it this part is really simple once you have done the coloring part so just go easy on it and slide your palette knife through the colors and the texture paste. 
I'll go once again all over the canvas so that I may get my desired texture and the flow. I just got this one more amazing idea to add some red with the gray so that maybe the gray will slow down but the popping of a red will be really amazing so I have again taken some red color in my palette just attach the palette knife backside of the palette knife with the red and go on in this way okay give it some hard pulls so that your texture will be good You'll also get the red color with that texture effect. Okay, so this is a done. You can clearly see the beautiful texture with the color we have got. So now friends, we will let it get dry for at least 24 hours and then I'll show you how does it looks. Okay, now friends, after a day, our base has got dried up completely and we have also got a beautiful texture on it so now let's prepare the mixed media paste you can also use the ready-made mixed media paste from itsy bitsy i'll surely mention the link in the description box below and for making a texture paste at home you are going to need marble powder this is the best marble powder available from gravel art marble dust powder and chalk powder so this is the loosely available chalk powder and arabic gum arabic gum can be easily made at a home by just soaking the arabic gum overnight in half quantity of water now i'm going to take three spoons of okay you can see level three spoons of marble powder three spoons of marble powder one spoon of chalk powder Take it aside using a spoon you have to mix it today we are joined by mickey today mickey is really interested in the video so he's going to be on the table okay and then i'm going to add one spoon of arabic gum and mix it very well i'm also going to add a little bit of white acrylic color because i want this paste to be white so this much is enough and now mix the mixture very well you have to mix the mixture till all the lumps get dissolved in the mixture and it will become like a cake batter smooth now friends i have finally completed mixing the paste and this is how it looks it is completely lump free and the texture should be absolutely thick as a batter of a cake and now I have also prepared my cones. So these are the same cones you need to make for a mehendi, the very simple cones. Now use your spoon and start adding the paste in the cone. You just have to fill up only half part of the cone so that rest you can fold it. Okay, now you can see I have filled up the cone till half and this much is the part remaining. So now I'll fold it in this way. Use a tape to secure the top and then start folding it the halfway down in this way. Okay, so now our cone is ready. After overnight, our base has got dried up completely, and I have made one more identical looking base to this one because I will be pairing both of them in this video, and our cones are also ready. So let's do some drawing on our base. Now friends, using a pencil, I have a drawn flower which I'm going to make. So these are the two flowers I have made. Do use the reference image from my website which is www.creativeathome.com to make these flowers by your own. So now friends, as the flowers are not very much visible, I'm just going to use a white 3D cone liner and do the lining from where I want to make the flower this is my first flower and this is going to be my second flower okay this is going to be my second flower so now friends first of all we'll start the mural process from the first flower and this is our cone and i'm going to give it a small cut and start placing the mural on this part so in this way it will give up upliftment to the flower you simply have to wet your finger 
and then drag the clay inside in this way you can also use a padded knife but I thought this is a much easier way to do it do it once again wet your finger just a little bit and pull the clay inside in this way then wet your finger and bring on the clay in the inside direction so this part friends is a bit tricky because you have to go through it in both the directions wet your finger and just pull it in the inwards direction and then finally place one more layer from the inner direction and this one should be thick Cut your finger and pull this in the inwards direction okay so now you can let it get dry but before that i'll just draw the stem after doing the outlining of the flower, now we'll start doing the mural part and for that I'm going to use a my cone. I have cut the cone in a very thick size so that I may get a thick flow of clay. So I'm just going to place the clay overlaying the design in this way. Then just press your finger with some water and pull the clay inside in the inwards direction. If you're satisfied with the volume, it is good. And if you're not satisfied with the volume, you can repeat the same step on the clay. Do the same for each and every petal. And now finally draw the stem. I am like to draw a leaf from here. Then draw one more stem from here. One more leaf from here. Okay, I would like to have one leaf in this part. And then one leaf in this part. And then use the same technique. Wet your finger and smooth the leaves into the design. So now friends, the mural part is finally completed. We will let it get dry and then we can move on to the next part which is coloring. So now friends, after few hours, our mural part has got dried up completely and you can clearly see that there is a no crack in our mural. So you can see that the homemade mixed media paste works really good. So now friends, I'm going to start the coloring part and for that, I'm going to use acrylic color. So here in my palette, I have taken white and a gold acrylic color and now one by one we'll start coloring the flowers for flowers first of all i'm going to use a white color and layer all white on it in this way i'm also going to color the leaves as white and then i'm going to use a round flat brush and this is the golden color I'm going to use for coloring and just layer it in this way I hope to use some more gold but I think for that I have to let the white color get dry first okay I like the leaves as gold in this way and I'm also going to do a touch up of gold on the stem this really looks fascinating so now the white color has got a dry so now I'm going to use some more golden and start coloring the parts as solid gold and I'm going to color a little bit on this downside of both I think the white
white is a bit off from the side so I'll add a little bit of white on the top in this way okay now I'm going to use just a little bit of copper in the center that depth show that depth I think it looks beautiful this way we can also add some center pollens when it will get dry so now I'm going to do the same on this flower also first use the white now we'll let it get dry for five minutes now when the white paint has gone to dried up so I'm going to start placing golden and yes and then slightly pull it up And now start coloring on the leaves just the bottom to up is important and I'll also color the stem as gold just a single line is enough this really looks good so now let's use some bronze take just a little bit of bronze and start placing it in the center part of the flower in this way just spread a little bit of it to all the directions of flower okay and now friends when it seems like everything is about to complete you just need to do a single touch up on the inner side of the canvas where you can see any pencil lines or any white color gone wrong so this will really help you defining your clay mural and then just spread it out so that it does not look like a defined line just go with the flow you can see a tiny white line over here so I'm going to cover it out so I'm going to cover it out using the black color now friends I'm going to use a white color cone liner this is the simple acrylic cone liner and make few bullets in this way and then I'm going to use the golden glass liner and make the round Pollen dots on the top of the white so the same I'm going to do for my next flower also so friends this is how beautiful our 3d clay mural painting looks when it's finally completed and it has got dried up you can pair them in different ways you want and I really love the 3d effect I have got because of the colors the textures and the upliftment of flowers so this is a do try video friends you should definitely try this because when you try them they are really going to amaze you by the way they look and you can easily place them on different walls just by using two side tape or you can also frame them as you want so friends please give it a try make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below how did you like my videos friends and if you do like my videos please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching